to Clicky Flame. Hello, here I am once again. Uh, fill in the rest of the song for yourself. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's Sunday. It's Sunday evening. Just chilling out. Made myself a an evening cafe because I fancied some coffee. So I made myself a coffee. That's that's mostly how it works. Ah. Uh. What's going on, everyone? How's the how's the schlisms? <laughs> ah, moodle. Blah, blah, blah. That's blah, 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 indeed. It's a blah, 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 indeed. Uh, let me see. I think I, I think I shilled my stuff everywhere already, so should be good with that and give people some time to arrive. Doing the whole shenanigans and stuff. How's, 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 how's the things, Chad? How's it looking, Chad? How you feeling, Chad? How's the, how's the, how's it going? How's the, how's the schlisms? Sh Obviously, we did EFAP yesterday. Talked about phase four. Uh, had typo uh, on randomly. Someone's video we covered, and that was pretty nifty. Uh, always fun when the creator of the of the video comes on so we can actually ask that person some questions clarifications so that was kind of fun that was kind of fun hello Chris hello hello hi um yeah I mean phase four is pretty bad so we got that we got that out of the way I guess um yeah. Do, 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 do. It was a good EFAP. Well, I'm glad you liked it. Glad you liked it. Um, the only question you can ask is why? Why did they do phase four? Yeah, that is a good question. Just shouldn't have done it. Hey, what's up, James? What's up? That would seem like a nice fellow. Yeah, he was chill. He was chill. Uh. Absolutely. It's always interesting to see, uh, when someone comes up and is like, oh yeah, I, I already recognize I did these arrows and this and this. It's like, oh, okay, interesting. Always interesting to see for sure. That is... Uh, yeah. Lots of... Uh, Lots of flizzmy Pokemans that people made me read out again. That's always fun and terrifying. I saw a meme about James. That James is like, please stop sending them in. They're horrifying. <laughs> Which they are. Which they are. I forgot to watch Prey last night. I just don't wanna. I'm gonna be watching Prey with... Uh, with uh, Mewchly and Rex and stuff. And, and, uh, and I guess Fringy is gonna be there as well. Because we gotta watch it like three hours from now. Um, so yeah, that's what we, so we're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna be covering that on the Forge on Friday, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna be on that EFAP, because I actually don't know if I have time. Because a friend is gonna come around Saturday or Sunday, that depends. So I might be on there, I might not be, I don't know yet. I do not know yet. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely gonna be covering it myself as well. Lots of things, lots of things that happened. Uh, not happened, uh, that we were talked about with the movie. Someone's like, that's all right. And someone else said, no, it's bad. So yeah, we're going to see for ourselves later. So yeah. <laughs> it's that other, other thing Metal does that no one watches. Hey, shut up, man. Shut up. It was mid, low mid. Okay, okay. I mean, it's better than a lot of other things that I've seen, so there we go. One or two is fine, but if I can't stand listening to 10 or 15 of them, like, for a period. <laughs> uh, I don't know why that one time it just gave me the German wiki page and it refused to give me the English one. That was kind of weird. 
I think it was the wa Walus, Swalu. I think it was Swalu in, Ger in in English, and then only Walu in German. And I don't understand why they just got rid of the S. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so damn weird. Um, didn't see it. Metal's gonna have to take my first time for prey. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Bulbapedia is the most accurate Pokemon from what I can tell. Yeah, that's mostly where Google sends you anyways. Uh, I, don't, I just don't know why it sent me to the German equivalent of that, I guess. It was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. But that's just how it works sometimes, I guess. What's this? Go away. I don't need you right now, software. I don't need you, Spotify. You're in my way. In the way of greatness. Ah, oh, man. Um. Da, 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 da. What the hell is coming out? Except prey. I mean, it's gonna be Rings of Power and Andor. Andor coming out next month, eh? That's gonna be painful. That's gonna be bad. September. September is gonna be. It's gonna be cringe. Cause I decided to cover all of Rings of Power on the Forge. So I'm gonna do one for those every every week, I guess. Uh, see if I double up, maybe even the the forges, and do another one in between if there's someone coming on or something. I don't know. I I still need to figure that one out. And see when the episodes actually release. When does the first episode release for Rings of Power? Rings of Power release date. Uh, September 2nd. What day is that? September 2nd. It's a Friday. Well, that's basically, that's basically a Forge day. But I guess the problem is it's going to be coming out like in the evenings I don't know so it might be the Sunday then I don't know I have to see what time that shit comes out so I just have to work Friday so I can't really do preparation during the day I know we shall see uh, and then we got Andor so that like around the same time I assume Oh, that's more like end of September, 21st. Hooray! <laughs> oh, Andor is the new Star Wars sludge that's coming out. 12 episodes. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's what I signed up for when I started doing this online stuff, eh? <laughs> Gotta stay on top of that schleem. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. No matter how painful it is, you gotta do it. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Forge to watch uh, a western with Rags. Uh, Rags is still kind of figuring out his his like online release schedule. I think. Because there was, there was one we planned. I need to ask him again. I don't know if he, he might have forgotten. Because uh, he wanted to tell me when he would be ready to be on another forge. Because the Moonfall one that we did, that was kind of uh, spontaneous. Like I asked him on the EFAB and the next day he was like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm around. And then we did it. So that was kind of like completely unplanned. Um, but that was another... You know, what is it? It was like a, a pretty old movie. Like Excalibur? Yeah, Excalibur. Excalibur from 1991 that's the one he choose but I guess I have to ask him again uh, if he's up for it or not uh, oh shit I completely forgot I wanted to do ice wide shot with doomer I completely forgot about that oh I should probably message him I legit completely forgot about that I'm sorry about that <laughs> that was like two or three months ago when we were in the EFAP together I think I was like, hey, you want to come with Forza? Like, yeah, hey, what do you want to? And we decided on that one. And then I think they were like, I already had like four or five planned. I was like, I'll message you after. And now I look at my list and it's in here. I was like, oh, 
that's it's kind of unfortunate for, for uh, that, yeah that's yeah i need to message him <laughs> i completely forgot i'm sorry dude but i did be too there was an accident um and there's time then relevant criticism of trump will be a joy to watch i'm sure i only heard about that f uh, like yesterday or two days ago there's like a trump thing and that's gonna be really awkward that's he just can't help himself to make shit political here and there. He can't just make a movie anymore. It's, oh, it's just annoying. Just make a good movie and just be done with it. Or at least make it entertaining. Like Bullet Train. Because Bullet Train was really entertaining. That was a fun thing to watch. I had fun watching that in the cinema. I wasn't feeling bad when I left the cinema. So that was a nice feeling. That was really nice. I had some laughs. I was entertained. I, I, I liked the characters for the most part. I think uh, there was nothing where I was like really super annoyed with. So that was really good. Um, just for me, I guess. But yeah, uh, what chaos would ensue if you watch Peter Jackson's Long Kong before Mala gets to it? I mean, that would just mean I would watch it twice because I assume I would be on that EVAP. Uh, cause I'm kind of on basically <clears throat> all the EFAB movies these days, which doesn't mean there won't be any without me, but I think like all the past ones that came out in the last year, I was, I think I was on all of them. Uh, I just can't escape. I can't escape. And fortunately it's really fun to do as well. So I, um, I don't want to escape. It's just fun to do that stuff. The ending of Bullet Train really goes off the rails and was glorious. Ah, oh, goes off the rails. Nice one. Nice one. That's that. That was a good one. That was a good one. Go watch the extended version of Long Kong. Maybe. Oh. Oh man. But yeah, all kinds of stuff going on uh, in the media sphere. Um, not so long ago in this very galaxy, Sludge Wars. That was Star Trek. I don't know why I did Star Trek. My brain is, uh, I don't know, it's kind of warm. My brain is kind of sludge. I was like busy all day as well because I was visiting my grandma. And then I came back and did some, some more preparation for this. And now I'm here just sipping on my, on my covfefe. Uh... This is one of those movies like it came out. Uh, uh, it came out. And I was like, oh, I should do the Fortune Friday, and they realized, man, I need to, I need to do more preparation for that, and I need this, I need like a, a nasty online version to rewatch it, or at least get some information because there's a lot of things happening in a very quick time or very fast amount of time, and I think as I when I got halfway through my notes, uh, I was like, I don't remember how this went along because i, I kind of remembered what was happening but they they it jumps around quite a bit uh it's not hard to follow but it's hard to remember without having any visual input or just having the uh just having to to do it by brain because somebody i think i just written down i don't I, it becomes all fuzzy here i don't know what's happening anymore <laughs> so i, I kind of had to to wait for one of those nasty online versions that people put on the internet so I can take some better notes. Uh, but yeah, I would, I would, overall, I would probably recommend to, to watch it in, in the cinema. It was, it was it's, it's a really fun popcorn movie. I think that's what Rag said about Moonfall, if I remember correctly. This is the one that I would say that for. Um, cause it's, it's, it's very, very bright, very colorful, not colorful. I don't know if colorful is the right word, but this is really, in there's a lot of things happening, explosions and, and some blood and some gore here and there. Uh, I don't know, just the characters are fun. I like them talking to each other. It was really nifty. Uh, the jokes aren't all cringe. Uh, I don't even know if I would call any of the jokes cringe for myself. Uh, but all like the, the little jabs and jokes, they were kind of, they were pretty fun. I enjoyed them. I, I got some giggles here and there. So it was nice after Thor, Love and Thunder, you know, cause that was, 
I've never love Thor and Thunder. Thor and Thunder, Love and Thunder. That's like the densest amount of jokes that didn't make me laugh that I've ever seen. It's baffling thinking back on it again. How can you rapid fire so much and hit, don't hit once properly? Uh, uh, man. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Absolute insanity. But yeah, that's what's been going on. Was it rags ruining her? No, no, no. It was me and my dad. Hit chilling out. No one was ruining anyone. No one was ruining anyone. Um. Ah, oh, yeah. Sludge. Sludge, sludge, sludge. You never ruin. No, no, that's not what I said or meant. As someone who actually uh, liked maybe 10 to 20% of the jokes in Love th and Thunder, this was so much better. Yeah, I mean, 10 to 20% is actually a, it's pretty high. Was it more or less funny than fu more? Way more. Dude, Farzar was so cringe. I fucking hate Farzar. Jesus Christ. I really hope they don't get another project like this. Maybe they're better with other stuff. I don't know. But everything I've seen in Farzar makes me want to gouge my eyes out. Jesus. God, Farza. Gah. It was so great to even know to present it. It's funny because I couldn't even really... I was scared to show the imagery on YouTube, you know? Because it's just... There's just peen and gore and shit everywhere. It's like, I don't know how... I don't know how YouTube takes that even with the... With my, with my copyright protector on, you know? It's just not pleasant to look at. <laughs> It's just so gross. Uh, have you seen Primal? It's a fun Oonga Boonga movie. I only heard about it. I've never seen it. I don't even know what it's about, really. Uh, let me have a look. See here. Primal. Wait, is it a C? Wait, Primal movie or... Oh, 2019. Oh, Nicolas Cage. Fuck yeah. Far is a hard, more like bad show. <laughs> nice. It's a serious. Okay, wait. Because I saw the serious and a movie here. Uh, it's an animated series by any creator of some reject. Ah, okay, okay. Primal serious. So that's primal with. Uh, primal series. Gany Tart Tartakovsky, primal. Okay. Interesting. Wait, isn't that even on my list? I feel like someone recommended that to me before. That list is so big, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know. It might be on here. I just put it on the uh, put it on there as well. Who who, who cares? Since it was in the middle of coming out on HBO Max and Hulu. Ah. So good. Okay, maybe I'll check that out. Maybe one day I, I don't know, have all the time in the world. <laughs> there's so much shit coming out to watch in this so little time. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, you know how it is. Just got to keep on keeping on. Just doing the things. Um, but yeah, Bullet Train. Very silly, but very enjoyable. Uh... And I guess I'm gonna go through it now. Uh, we'll see. Caught on one more already. Nice. For a lot of that, there's 10 episodes a season that are 10 to 20 minutes. Just a friend to it, and we binged it, and he was like, It's over already? It can't be. Yeah, I mean, it's 20 minutes. You can watch it in like one day. For shizzle. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, go away. I don't need this. Don't need this. Uh, right. Let's put on some some visual schlemes. Good old trailer footage in the background. So I got some moving picture runes. Uh, boom! Look at that bullet train. That's that's the that's the song they play in the trailer. 
Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Better than Van Helsing. Dude, Van Helsing is special. Van Helsing is, is, is top tier entertainment. Um, but yeah, Bullet Train, very silly, but very enjoyable. What was up, Trudon? How you doing, man? Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go right in it. Because uh, the movie starts pretty serious, actually, which was kind of surprising. Because we start with uh, a character just called The Father. And he's looking down on his son, who apparently has been pushed off somewhere. Like a, like a ceiling or something. A, ce a ceiling? A roof. Roof, I mean a roof. Uh, and he's now in some kind of coma and hasn't woken up. Uh, and then The Father's... Well, The Father's father... Uh, comes in and basically tells him, "Hey, you fucked up. There's, uh, there's, there's a uh, your 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 family leader person because you're a dad. You have to take care of your family, and you failed, you, you little dingus." Uh, and then we see him being like rem or remorseful and stuff, and it almost looks like he's contemplating suicide even uh, at some point because he's looking like an in, in a mirror, I think, and uh, has like a gun. Uh, but yeah, he's 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 part of the story, and but even though we start with him, he is not our pro main protagonist. But uh, the reason we start with the sun being pushed off is basically because this is how the soul. This, this is connected to this whole thing, basically. Um, because the character who pushed this this the sun off is uh, is in that bullet train as well. Because it's all it's all connected, you see. It's all connected. But yeah, we switch to our main character, and uh, which is Brad Pitt, obviously, and he's uh, he's called Ladybug. This is his new his new his new, I guess, assassin name, if you will. It was his handler thing? It was like, oh, that's funny because I'm always unlucky, and ladybugs are supposed to bring luck. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. Uh, so they have like some banter on the phone, uh, and he hasn't had a mission in a while because he was like I don't know on a self finding phase and or or something along those lines. He was like contemplating what he's been doing, so he took like a break and was just chilling out, taking some I guess some anti aggression courses and whatever. He's like a th he's like, doing therapy, trying to chill out. Uh, but yeah, he talks about how he's always unlucky, but his handler tells him, oh, this is just how things are sometimes, and you're, you're unfor unfortunate as fortunate to others. Like that one time, this guy fell off a building, and he landed on your on your roof, and you were able to bring him to the hospital, and he was able to live. This has nothing to do with the sun, by the way. This is just a random story they throw in there. So he's unlucky, but some other people might be lucky for that. I don't even remember if that really... I don't know, drips in later, uh, but yeah, this is like this, this thing, it's like, oh, he's always unlucky, and stuff happens to him, I think this is almost the, <laughs> their quote-unquote excuse for all the random shit that happens, and people getting together, he's like, oh, he's always unlucky, so his unlucky, this is unlucky stuff is gonna, gonna happen, uh, but yeah, he gets his pickup mission, which is basically here, get this briefcase out of this train and just exit it on the next station and then that's it. That's GG. That's your that's your mission. It's like, oh you wanted something easy for your first mission back, so there you go. It's just a just a retrieval. So no problemo. Um So yeah. And he, he, the, 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 whoops, the handler, I guess, or operator, because they're always on the phone, is telling, uh, he, uh, she's telling him, oh, there's like a locker, uh, go there, there's your, your, your little, your, your, your little, little care package with stuff in it. Uh, but we see that he, 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 uh, <clears throat> He lost the key and something else. We see that a little bit earlier before he gets to the locker because he uh, kind of bumps into the father guy we saw in the beginning. So this guy is here as well. It's like, oh my God, that's like, it's like all these people, they're all here. 
man, isn't that crazy how he just bumps into him? And of, of course it's really unlucky because that makes him lose the key for the locker and his ticket that he needs on the train. So, oh, that's that's bad. He needs those. Uh, so yeah, he gets to the locker. He's like, oh shit, I lost my key. But because he's like a trained assassin and stuff, he, he doesn't really give a shit. He's like, oh, hey, handler, what's the number of the locker? And he just picks it and gets in there anyway. So that's kind of a non-issue. Uh, which on one hand is like, oh yeah, I guess it makes sense. He shouldn't have a problem getting in that thing if he's like this experienced uh, experienced assassin guy. So he just picks it like really quickly and the, the bullet train is already waiting so he he just needs to grab his stuff and get in there. Uh, but yeah, he hasn't realized yet that he lost his ticket. Uh, but he knows he lost his key. So he gets all the stuff and he, he gets some stuff out there. Some, some and then, What's on there? Is it, there's like a gun in there that he refuses to... to they refuse to take because uh, every time I'm on a mission, uh, someone dies, even if I don't intend to. But this is not me anymore. I'm just I'm not gonna take the gun. I'm just gonna go in there, get the shit, and then I'm out of there. Um, but then it's also the, 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 some other stuff he gets from there. Some uh, some sleeping powder, uh, where <laughs> where the handler says, "Oh yeah, you you got that again. Last time you got that, you you completely overdosed." And you gave that one guy a heart attack and he died. He's like, yeah, I was still training on that. I, I, I know I know now how it works. It's fine. Uh, and he also gets some he gets some firecrackers. Uh, he said something why he got those. Because then obviously I was like, what, what the fuck do you want firecrackers for? And I don't remember. I, I, I completely forgot why. Uh, I, I didn't even write it down. Uh, it, it's not super important for... For the story, why? But well, it is. <laughs> he he uses those firecrackers later to uh, get away from someone. But yeah, uh, he has firecrackers and some sleeping powder and some other shenanigans. Uh, yeah, as I said, he refused to take the gun because it doesn't really kill anymore. So he gets on the train because it's about to. Uh, he's about to to the, the train is about to leave. Uh, but yeah, he, he, just, he just walks around the train. It's like, oh, this is kind of nice. This is like kind of nifty. This is pretty chill. Uh, but then he gets to the train conductor. And this is he really realizes he lost the ticket. Or he gives him like some stub. He's like, oh, no, that's not the ticket. And it's like, oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, damn, I must have lost this. But oh, but is this the receipt? This should say that I have a ticket. And the uh, conductor's like, yeah, what? Well, you, you only, you only allowed to do one stop. And he's like, yeah, yeah, fine, fine, whatever. Uh, so I don't know. They kind of try to make this a thing where he needs to dodge the conductor, but it happens only like twice. But it's more of an annoyance than anything else. Uh, yeah, I don't know because one time he tries to he sees the conductor, but he's also followed by someone else, and for some reason he thinks the conductor is also very threatening. Just because he's the conductor, and he he's told him to get off the train. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's more of an annoyance than anything else. It's not super annoying. Uh, but yeah, he, he's on there now. And they, they also tell us uh, that there's, the, the train is 16 cards and there's only one minute every stop. Uh, so we play into that a little bit here and there when they stop. There's some shenanigans happening on the stops as well, of course. Um, right. Then... Ladybug gets a description of the briefcase he has to retrieve. And he was like, oh, it's a silver briefcase. has, like, a train sticker on, on the handle. And then he rightfully says, like, oh, this is going to take a while. Uh, it's like, because he he, <laughs> he does, like, the math in his head. It's like, oh, there's, like, X amount of people. If there's, like, two cases per person. It's like, yeah, no fucking way I'm going to find that thing. And then he just finds it immediately. And he just goes, like, holy shit, box. <laughs> So that's basically how they they lampshade. It's like, oh, there's no way I'm gonna find that so easily. Like, there's so many people in here. And then he just finds it immediately because they. Because uh, they, uh, they. I guess they don't want to waste any time of him finding that. So they just kind of lampshade. It's like, oh man, there's no way I'm gonna find this. Like, oh shit, there it is. Oh, that's nice. Uh, so yeah, maybe this will be a walk in the park after all. 
Uh, maybe I forgot to mention Chekhov snake on TV. No oh, yeah, in the hospital you see that some snake has been stolen. If you didn't get it there, it's fine, because as soon as it gets quote-unquote important, they give you a little flashback of the thing. That's like one of the things I didn't like in this movie. They 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 really really want to make sure you, you you follow along. It's like, hey, remember when this happened thirty minutes ago and this? So they give us like a little flashback every time. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, I'm not stupid. Thank you. Could have could have saved those ten seconds, but there you go. Um, but yeah, while all this is happening, we also get introduced to Tangerine and Lemon. It's two other assassins who have also a job here. Uh, and then we see just have see them having some banter. Uh, I enjoyed them talking to each other because they, they've they been a team for a while and they know each other and they just kind of shit talk. Uh, shit talk each other all the time. Uh, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Basically, they, they shit talk each other. It's kind of funny and they have like these, these British accents as well. Uh, it's very entertaining. I, I did really like seeing them talk. But yeah, it turns out they have a mission to get uh, someone's son back. Uh, and also to... Uh, oh, shit. I get someone's son back. And also protect the briefcase. So they got the briefcase and the son. And now they're on their way back to hand over the son and the briefcase to the dad. Uh, and they basically just set him down set the son down, who is unconscious for some reason. I forgot why. Uh, I think that happens in this weird flashback we get. I, I completely forgot. Uh, and just, just says, hey, what's up? And when he wakes up to... Oh, yeah, when he wakes up, they tell him basically what's been going on. Uh, and then the two get, like, an argument how many people they kill to get him. Because I think Tangerine, Tangerine says, oh, we had to kill 17 people to get here. And then because like, 16. It's like, no, it was 17. I count. It's like, no, it's 16. Uh, and then we get like a full scene, like three minutes, where you, where you see see them killing all these people. But they all and every time they kill someone, they look into the camera and go like, "That's one." It's like they have the the conversation with each other in that flashback. It's it's uh, kind of entertaining. It's like just, they kill all these people and just explosions and people getting shot everywhere. Uh, and every time they go, "Oh, there was like seven people, nine, nine ten people, blah 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 blah." Uh, and then they, they, you see them drive away. They kill a 16th guy. It's like, that was 16. But Lemon forgot the one guy that was looking at, at a crashed car that exploded. Just l looking at a crashed car that exploded while he was looking in into it for some survivors. So basically, it's like one random guy who wasn't even involved in anything. He was like, hey, are you guys all right? The car explodes. And it's like, see, 17. It's like, oh, shit, yeah, I forgot about that one. And then they both say, well, that one wasn't our fault, though. That was an accident. Like, we didn't mean to kill that guy. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, it wasn't our fault. <laughs> so, yeah, I quite enjoy that. Um... Oh, yeah, and also Lemon is obsessed with uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. And basically, they say he learned everything he knows about people from that show. Uh, and there's like some characters that are like people uh, like the tanks in the show or the trains in the show uh, and, and the most important one is that the, the worst ones are diesel diesel diesels are the worst kind of the fucking hate diesels fucking suck <laughs> uh, and just like this sticker this little sticker I don't know it's not a sticker book it's like a page of stickers where you can explain people and just get stickers off of it uh, so yeah, that was kind of funny. Uh, obviously don't have every point of banter in there, but th th I, I, I did enjoy their banter. I think it was pretty, pretty funny and entertaining. Uh, so yeah, Tangerine tells them to show him the case. It's like, okay, get the case. And it's like, where's the case? It's like, oh, stashed it. And he's like, oh, so we have to, to do this mission for this super important guy. And you just stashed the fucking, you stashed the... The briefcase we have to protect just somewhere in between somewhere else. Like, yeah, just yeah, don't worry. It's all fine. Uh, so obviously, as I already said, Ladybug already found that case and is already off with it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. 
but Tanji was like, okay, then fucking get it. Like, we need it. We don't want it to get it. And he's like, fine, let's get it. No problem. And the Tanji gets a call from that contractor. And it's like, hey, I just want to check in. Everything cool with my son in the case? And he goes like, yeah, yeah, your son is right here. He's a wee chipper. He's just chilling out. And uh, the case is with us as well. And then we just get, like, a little cut. We can look through the through the wagon and you just see lemon throwing these <laughs> these other briefcase in the briefcase those other suitcases behind him <laughs> while while he, the while tangerine is telling the the contract like, no it's all good and he's like fuck where's the fucking thing you don't even see lemon you just see the see a case flying away uh say so he just throws his case around and tangerine hangs up the phone he checks him it's like uh what's up what's up then he just looks there, looks at the things like it was right here. Like I swear, it was right here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, then we get the backstory of the client, uh, who is the White Death. Uh, the way to do it here is that ta- it's like this basic world. It's like tan- Tangerine has to tell Lemon again because Lemon never reads the briefings. So he he tells him the story like very dramatically. Uh, so he basically is this Russian guy that went to some Japanese mafia, uh, made his way up the chain, beating up a lot of their best fighters or something, and then becomes the right hand of the, of the current leader. Uh, but then, nah, he's up to no good because he, he, he kills all the people and wants, and makes his own clan. And now he's super powerful and influential and stuff. And... They want to go home alive. If they want to go home alive, they'll have to find a briefcase because that guy is going to fuck you up. Um, so yeah, that's basically the White Death. He's very powerful. He's a well-versed fighter himself. And uh, he's very influential and threw over a whole a whole thingy, a whole established Japanese mafia I guess like a part of it, not the whole one. But yeah, he he's now the big boss there and has super powerful, influential stuff. Right. Uh, and when when Lemon asks, like, "Oh, if he's such hot shit, why doesn't he come over here and does a shit does it himself?" It's like, ah, because he 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 doesn't need to. He's so powerful. But he got the best ones us because they needed the one who did the Bolivia job. Uh and he wants the best, and then, and yeah, now they're they're like all pumped up. It's like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. It's all good. Uh, oh yeah, Tangerine also asks Lem. It's like, do you still have this bulletproof vest on? Lem says, nah, that's just it. Just gives you a false sense of security. They 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 just shoot you in the face. Otherwise, they're just like, it's not, they, you can still shoot you in the chest though, you moron. Uh, but yeah, I mentioned that because that's important for later uh see i don't know i i feel like this is like a little little a little jab on on all these bulletproof vests and stuff where people don't get shot in the face maybe uh but yeah that was just kind of fun but they 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 use that later on in the story so that's kind of kind of nifty i guess um so yeah the father uh going back to that guy uh, he's also on the train because he got a note that said, "Hey, I pushed, I I pushed him, meaning his son. Meet me at seat B04, I think it was. Uh, obviously not super important, but I think it was B04. Uh, so he gets there, determined to kill whoever the culture of this, but he he only fe- finds a finds a finds a seemingly a seemingly." child it's just a child just a maybe a teenager or something um and now i lost track of where was my notes because i oh yeah the uh yeah seemingly small child apologizes that he that she, that he annoyed her and she's like oh it's fine it's all good and when he turns around what is a trap and he gets tasered he gets fucking tasered and falls unconscious. That that fool, that foolish man. It was a trap all along because she is an assassin too. But yeah, she's here for the briefcase as well. Uh, 
because she knows it's from the from from the white death and she wants to kill him so she needs the father here uh for some reason because he works for him over some other connection with his dad being like this power some powerful guy as well and she now uses him to get to the white death because he quasi works for him over like multiple corners or something i actually don't remember this too well what her reasoning is here but i she she needs him for some reason i, I don't know I, I think in the end she doesn't actually need him i don't know the story i, I don't think the story is super tight <laughs> let me let me let me put it that way uh I, th I think there's some some schlemes in there um but yeah anyway because uh when he wakes back up she tells him like oh i have someone at, at your son's hospital bed and if uh she won't pick up the phone when the guy calls and she doesn't tell him everything is fine every 10 minutes uh he has the task to kill the son so he basically just tells her so the father tells her okay what what do you want i basically do whatever you want uh so yeah lemon and tangerine at this point all pop like all pumped up themselves like yeah we're the best we're so good they go back to their seats like all epic epically it's like slow-mo feeling all awesome and shit because they're so cool and they f see that the son of the white death is dead he's bleeding from his eyes he is super dead uh yeah so that's unfortunate that's that's the one thing they didn't want to happen because now they're basically fucking screwed because the white death is gonna fuck them up so yeah now we have our, our main people in in place here on on the train uh so yeah we have all the people here that we need uh and it's time to Time to go back to, to Ladybug because he got the briefcase, so all he needs to do All he needs to do is just leave. He just needs to go and he's done so. He's GG, no problemo. So he is about to leave the train. But then there's some guy standing in front of it. And it's the wolf. And we get his backstory before we before we go to their confrontation. It's it's a it's a flashback and uh he had his mom was like uh, terminally ill and and she died at some point and she gave him a wolf amulet and tells told him to be strong all the time and we see him like beat people up getting into a gangster family uh in, in that's all in mexico by the way uh, and it seems like he became their their hitman basically and he goes up the ranks uh, he finds his love and uh, yeah his flashbacks are always like a mix of him getting more powerful and assassinating more people for this Mexican family and getting closer with his girlfriend until they have the until they marry so they have like a crazy wedding in the desert and stuff uh, and during their wedding he gets bumped by someone he's about to fuck that guy up because he's so angry all the time Arr, I'm the wolf oh he actually does oh and at some point that's it's cringe, but funny cringe, I think, because they know what they're doing. Uh, but yeah, but he, his wife stops him because uh, it's like, yeah, oh, just uh, just don't mind. It's all fine. Just go, 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 go wash your suit up and come back. We're going to have some going to have some cake because we're married and it's a great day. And then he goes to to wash his suit and he comes back and everyone is dying. They're bleeding from the eyes. They're puking blood. It's horrible. And everybody is dead. Uh, but yeah, hey, wait, wait a second, bleeding from the eyes? Bleeding from, that sounds familiar. That sun just bled from the eyes. There might be some connection here, guys. What the fuck? So yeah, he's here to kill whoever killed his whole family. And he enters uh, wherever Ladybug meant to get out. Which is... What a, what a quinky dink. In it? What a, what a, what a quinky dink. Um... As I said, they kind of lampshade this, like, oh, he's always so unlucky. Me, 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 me. Uh, so, yeah, he's unlucky and he gets in there. Uh, and he just looks at the guy, it's like, oh, okay. And he just gets out a big ass knife. He's like, huh? What's going on? And he just starts attacking him. It's like he, he stabs him into the chest, but he, he, only, he only stabs his phone. So he, he only gets like stabbed a little bit. He goes like in there for like, I don't know, like a centimeter at, at most. 
So it's just like a little puncturing, like a little stab wound that doesn't go very deep. <laughs> uh, it's kind of fun because he goes like, you stabbed me. <laughs> he's like very, he's like appalled that he just stabbed him. Uh, and Wolf keeps attacking and talks about revenge and stuff. And he throws, throws Ladybug over a counter. <laughs> <laughs> right, and the, the ladybug goes like, "I don't even know you." <laughs> just yeets him over the counter. <laughs> this is really funny because he's really surprised what's happening. He's like, "I don't even know you." What the fuck? So he gets like yeeted. He, he just defends himself from his attacker with the briefcase. He just uh, he just stops the knife with the briefcase and just deflects it. Um, but yeah, in the end, the wolf throws his knife at Ladybug, and he just gets the briefcase up in, like, a defensive position, and the knife bounces off the briefcase, it goes right back to Wolf into his heart. <laughs> and just, both of them look surprised at what just happened, and he just goes like, oh, mi corazón, or something, like, hard in, 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 in Spanish. I think it was corazón. I don't know, I could be wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm not very versed in the Spanish language. And then he, <laughs> he's like, oh no, I was stabbed, this is bad. And just, <laughs> he falls over forwards to, onto the briefcase with his face and breaks his neck. And he's like dead. <laughs> and Ladybug looks at us like, what the, really? And just checks his pulse and he's dead. It's like, well, I guess let this be a lesson in toxicity and anger. <laughs> Yeah, that was kind of funny. I kind of like this. He was like, as he said, it's like people always die even though he doesn't intend to kill anyone. He was just defending himself here, and he just fell onto his brief into the briefcase and broke his neck. Uh, but yeah, he he just kind of cleans up the room, uh, and then he props him up like he's passed out drunk. Then he puts a little little booze on his hand and puts him in the corner of the. Uh, in this room, which seems to be like a first class, uh, like a first class bar room, uh, which no one ever goes into, or I guess people just go through because no one ever notices this corpse or this guy chilling there. Uh, I guess that's fine. He kind of make makes them look like they're uh, like he's just passed out drunk, <clears throat> uh, and then. Looks like he's asleep or fell asleep. Um, there's other things that that are bigger issues that should have stopped the train, to be honest. So I can kind of look over this one. This is kind of be okay. No one's checking that guy. I guess like I can see that happening. Um, but there's like different things, more extreme things that happen that don't stop the train at all, which is kind of silly. Uh, so yeah. So he, he cleans up those ho this whole room, do, do, does his shenanigans, and all is going, going, well, not swimmingly for him. It's going okay, I guess. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, do we go back to Lemon and Tangerine? Because they try to figure out what they want to do, because they're fucked, basically. Uh, and Tangerine goes off to find the case. Uh, and on the next stop, they, they kind of just check the outsides. Oh, they both go outside and see if anyone leaves with the briefcase. Uh, so, obviously, Ladybug is trying to go out, and he now he's hindered by Lemon to get out of this, uh, out of the, the door he wanted to do. So, yeah, as, as I said, he's very unlucky uh, all the time, so... We kind of position all these people there so he can't get out, because it's like one. Of, it's like the easiest thing to do, like just get out. But we kind of, kind of make it work with having this sixty-second thing and Jap <clears throat> Japan being very punctual that they actually leave after those sixty seconds. Um. Yeah. So th when he gets to one of these doors and he can't go out. Uh, it's not that easy for him to uh, just go to the other one because it's still kind of crowded here at this point. So he can't just kind of run to the next door because we see him 
making his way to the door and then it's blocked. And then he can't really go back and release, so he he misses the stops all the time. Uh, obviously, it's like really, really contrived that every time he wants to go out, there's something happening. So yeah, I don't know, it's uh, it's whatever. It's not my f most favorite thing in the world, of course. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. Then we get a flashback that Ladybug has been shot by Lemon in the past in Johannesburg, uh, so he knows Lemon at least. Uh, and he also just knows both of those those guys. Uh, but yeah, he goes back to the the place where he fought Wolf and hides the case, and I think in like a trash bin or something. Uh, and he talk talks to the operator on the phone and tells her, "Hey, fucking this guy came for me." And he's like, "You killed the wolf?" He's like, "Yeah, I mean, it was an accident. Didn't meant to. He fell on my briefcase." Um, this is where we learned that Ladybug was part of the wedding where everyone died. He was the he wasn't he, he was there to do something, uh, so he was kind of a part of it, but didn't kill anyone. Uh, he was just there to do something else. Uh, so yeah, Tangerine is walking towards Ladybug here, because uh, Ladybug is just going through the train, trying to make like a plan or something. And Ladybug just says, shit, fuck, and the operator just goes like, shit, fuck, what? <laughs> and he just tells us like, oh yeah, remember those two twins from the Bolivia job? They're, they're here. And trying to get the case as well uh and he tries he just he just hides in like this little closet or something uh and he he gets he's on the phone with the um with the white death again saying no it's everyone is fine uh, it's cool no problem yeah yeah we, we got this stop calling me all the time you're distracting me uh and he, he's just looking at the mirror, and he can he, he sees Ladybug. He's like, "Shit, you scared the fuck out of me!" Uh, but he doesn't know Ladybug, uh, so uh, Tangerine does not know Ladybug. So he he's just like thinks it's just this random guy who's just sitting in his closet with his phone. Uh, and he basically just calls him a prick and a wanker after Ladybug tells him that it's not very nice in Japan to talk on your phone. He's like, "Yo, take your stupid fucking hat or shove it up your ass." <laughs> He just kind of yells at him and fucks off. Um, so yeah, Tendrine makes his way to somewhere else, and he 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 now stumbles across uh, this little assassin lady, uh, and she she's called she's called Prince or Little Prince, uh, but he, he doesn't know that, and he just asks uh, her like, "Hey, have you seen someone with a with a briefcase?" Uh, and she's like, oh, there was this weird guy with, with head and glasses. He went in that direction and he realizes that's a guy he just called a wanker. Uh, so he just goes back. Um, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Mm, right, so Ladybug... <clears throat> Lady back, Lady Bug now has seen that the twins are here, and now he goes to Lem and pretends like he's holding a gun below the table, but he doesn't. Uh, but Lem also doesn't recognize Lady Bug. He's like, "Really? You shot me twice." It's like, I don't, I don't know. I shot a lot of people, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they have a little back and forth, and they they fight in in the seats basically. And the joke is that they're in the in the in the quiet in the quiet wagon. So you need, they need to use their inside voices all the time. And they go like, you really don't know who I am? What the fuck? Um, and his idea is like, oh, there's so many people looking for this case. You know what? You can just have this case. Y you don't die. I don't die. And it's all good. Like, I just want to get the fuck off this train now. Like, this is way crazier than I thought it would be. Uh, it's like, you have the case. Don't die. I don't die. And it's all good. And it's like, well... I know you killed someone, so I think you're just fucking with me. And Ladybug obviously thinks he means the wolf, but Lemon means <clears throat> the son that died. Uh, so this is like all a misunderstanding. He's unlucky again. Oh, no. And this is where it start, kind of starts to get annoying. It's like, look how unlucky he is. That's just what happens. It's fine. It's like... Yeah, but it's boring. It's lame. As a as a vehicle for <clears throat> for your story, but whatever. Go ahead, entertain me more. I guess. Um, 
and then they start fighting. They have like a little scuffle, and the on <clears throat> the ongoing joke during the fight is that they they fight kinda silently, but not really. And then there's this old lady that's annoyed and just like, Shh, oh, you're so loud. And then they they <laughs> they kind of always stop and just look at the lady and that smiles like, oh yeah, sorry, we stopped doing that now. Uh, but yeah, the visual of them just stopping when she looks, is, they're kind of funny. Um, I do remember one instance where Lemon tries to shoot Ladybug, but he gets rid of the magazine. Which shouldn't matter, because there's still there should still be a bullet in the chamber, because he was aiming at Ladybug. So it's like he was prepared to shoot him there. But then, then when he when he gets the magazine back into the gun at some point, he cycles, he he, he loads the uh, the loads the gun again, like there wasn't one in the chamber already. So I don't know what was going on. I think that was like that, that's definitely an oversight. Because uh, when he's already prepared to shoot him, there should already be a a gun in the a gun a bullet in the chamber, but he he lo loaded it through. Uh. So yeah, that that was kind of weird because they already fought like he was ready to shoot him, but apparently his gun wasn't loaded, so <laughs> nothing would have happened. Um, but yeah, in the end, uh, Ladybug wins. He knocks him out, um, and he yeah knocks him out. And then the old lady at some point says, Ah, just be silent or I'll call the conductor. He just tells her to eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> he's like, what? And he's like, sorry, sorry, I'm working on it. Just because he's, he's trying to be a better person and stuff. That was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, he, he won. And now he puts the sleeping powder he has in, in, in Lemon's Fiji water, which obviously will become relevant later on. And Ladybug takes his phone. Uh, Lemon's phone and he goes away because he sees on his phone that he that he saw from Lemon that he got a message back from Tangerine that he's on the way and should keep him talking. Um, Ladybug is uh, now barricading the door Tangerine has to go through and accidentally releases the snake I mentioned earlier from the uh, uh, from the uh, what is it from the TV news thingy. So now we have a, a, a random snake on the loose that we see here and there just snaking around, just doing slithery slither stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, do, do, oh, I need to scroll in my notes. That's why I didn't, okay. Just <laughs> come back at dicks. I like that one. Um, <laughs> So he barricades the door. He basically just puts like suitcases on top of each other, and then he it's like one of these automatic sliding doors. And he puts I think it was like a, a, a golf thingy. Like a fuck, what do you call these golfing Hang on. In, like, golf club. There you go, a golf club. He just kinda rams it through the door so it stops the door from opening. And that's the thing. He stopped the thing. He kind of stops him for a little bit then uh, and releases the snake. Uh, let's see here. Should no. I just I fucked up my notes. Hang on. Barricading the door. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, and then Tangerine sees that Lemon was beaten up, and they don't know where Ladybug went, so they split up. One goes up the train, the other one goes down, and this is the first time we also see that they like actually care for each other, and they've been a team for a long time. Uh, and we also see, I think a little bit later, they grew up together, so they're like actually twins, even though <laughs> Ladybug at some point said, I mean, everybody knows they're twins, they don't look like twins. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they grew up together, so I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, and then we see Ladybug paying someone to wear his clothes so he can lay low. And the guy asks if it's like a weird sex thing or whatever. <laughs> it was funnier in the cinema because I, I don't remember the, the, the whole conversation. But he goes like, is this like a weird sex thing? I don't know. 
I think this was a cameo for from some other actor. Oh shit, who was it? Uh, bullet train came cameos. Hang on. Uh, who was it? Let me just fi find that out. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Ryan Reynolds is just chilling there at some point, doing your little camp cameo. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of fun. Ryan Reynolds. I think that's the only one I can think of right now. I think that was him, if I'm not misremembering. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, bullet train. <clears throat> uh yeah yeah he's just there uh, say is this like a weird sex thing <laughs> yeah it was funny in the cinema i just don't get i don't have the uh oh that was channing tatum wait where was ryan reynolds done i completely forgot i thought i thought he was there uh i don't know i forgot but yeah, you're right. Now that you say it, that makes more sense. That sounds about right. But yeah, he he's he's just there. And he's like, oh, this is like a sex thing or whatever. But yeah, he he pays him to wear his head and and glasses. I think. Uh, then we see Tangerine getting to this little barricade. He uh, shoots it open while using a stuffed toy as a silencer, which I'm pretty sure doesn't work the way they think it works. But that's movie logic, I guess. Uh, but he basically just shoots down the case that is blocking the uh, the golf club, and then he gets through. He sees someone wearing this hat and glasses from the back, and obviously the Channing Tatum guy, and just looks at him. He goes like, "Oh, there you are! I'm gonna fuck you up now!" And he just looks. At him, is this the sex stuff now? <laughs> And then we hear some firecrackers go off, which distracts everyone. And then we see Ladybug running away in the background. So he got away once again. Good stuff. Uh, in the meantime, we see Prince and the father go and grab the briefcase from wherever they hid it. I don't remember how she exactly she finds it. I think she just checks out all the things. And I guess with assassin knowledge, she just checks the bin or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, she locks herself and the father in the toilet room. And this is where he tries to shoot her with the gun. But she's like, huh, remember, your son is in danger. If I don't call back, she, he's gonna get yeeted. Um, he's like, fine, I'll do whatever you want. And she just tells him, try all of the combinations on the locks until you open it. Okay, bye. And then she, well, she fucks off and he does. Uh, I don't know how long this is gonna take. I think it's like a thousand, I'm pretty sure it's a thousand combinations because it's like a triple digit lock. Uh, it's definitely doable to brute force this, uh, and I think there's enough time between, but yeah, I don't know, it's just kind of funny, it's like, just try all the combinations and I'll be back to check on you. Um, but yeah, it, it's plausible, I don't know how much time passes in between those two things, but yeah, I guess that could, that, that, that could definitely work. Um, also, in the in the same time, his dad calls as well, and he's like, "Oh shit, I don't know what to tell you." And she's like, "Oh, just be honest. Tell him that you went for the killer by yourself." And then he does, and the dad is like, "That's not very smart of you, but okay." And she he also hears her voice, which is important later. And then she leaves him in there and yeets away his phone uh, in one of the random carts of the wagon and through the wagon. <clears throat> uh, right. Tangerine Lem regroup, uh, and they're forced to confront some of the White Death's men, because he's getting all sus now. And it's like, I don't, I think you're fucking with me right now. You gotta come out and tell us if everything is okay. We want to check on the sun. So he he gets some people to the next stop to check on what is going on, uh, and you get this silly thing where Tangerine goes out all epically confront them it's like uh but it's all good and then it's like hey what about the son is he fine 
and Lemon moves the sun's arms, pretending like he's waving and stuff. And it works long enough so they can get rid of the 60 seconds, so he goes back in, and then, I don't know, the the corpse just falls over, and it looks like the uh, the people they said there were like, immediately suspicious, they call, immediate, they call the guy immediately and tell him, it's like, there's something up here, this shit is crazy. Um... But yeah, uh, it's praying like it's waving, kind of works, and he goes right back in, and the train leaves, and they're like, that was stupid, you, I don't believe you, call the boss, they're fucking around. Uh, then the child prince, child prince sees the dead son of the White Death at some point, while Tangerine and Lemon are gone to check out for the case, and spits on him, uh, because as we learn later, she is actually the daughter of the White Death. Ooh, no! Uh, and she's she's been this neglected daughter, and it's like, oh, you always wanted to go for this stupid son boy, and he's no nobody, and sucks, and now he's dead. And she was annoyed, so she spat on the corpse. Anyway, Ladybug is just hiding in the room for now, just in a in a, in a toilet room. Uh, just some banter in between. I just realized there's just a lot of banter in between things actually happening. Like, people just moving around the train a lot. So, we just kind of get all these people back in place where they need to be and just move them around. Even though it would sometimes be just smarter for people to just wait wherever the fuck they are. Uh, but we need all these things to happen. Um... In the meantime, the father is able to open the briefcase, and at the exact moment he opens it, the prince child comes. The, the, the prince comes back, uh, which just I don't know, just happens. Uh, it's just weird. Things happen just exactly when they have to be. That happens a lot in this movie, and I'm kind of annoyed by it. Uh, I'm not giving it a pass from a writing perspective. I just give it a pass because the movie is still entertaining enough for me to not be super annoyed at it. But um, I'm not a big fan of things just happening and just go, oh, they're really lucky or unlucky. Okay, we said that in the beginning, so it's fine. Because at some point they say that uh, the prince is just really lucky all the time. And it's like, ugh, don't do that. That's lame. But yeah. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, father op- uh, is able to open the briefcase. She comes in, uh, and she preps the case with explosives, uh, and then tells also father, "Oh yeah, the gun you tried to use on me. I think about that while you were unconscious. That one explodes in your face when you shoot it." And her plan is to make the White Death kill himself with this gun, if I remember correctly. I don't think she specifies how exactly she does it. I think the father actually says, that's a stupid plan. Uh, Of course, at the end, it somehow works out. uh, But probably not the way she intended it to. And in the end, I don't even know if she actually needed him for any of this. She could have just prepared it. The way she tries to do it later on is just confronting him. Obviously, I'm just jumping ahead now. But she confronts him and goes like, Oh, you suck. I did all these things. I have to do it myself. No, fuck you. Where are you going to kill me? Come on, kill me, do it. And then he just doesn't kill her. Uh, I don't I don't know if she... I don't know if she planned to do it like this, but this is also this is also where shit just hits the fan like crazy. So I don't... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what her actual plan was. I don't think we get to know it. Maybe I missed it in one of her explanations, but... It's basically like, oh, I want to use this briefcase and this gun, and then I will somehow make this explode him or something. It's kind of weak. Because uh, it all goes off the rails. And when her plan actually was to make him kill make him kill himself with the gun she prepped earlier from the father guy, I, just use any gun? I don't know. It's really weird. It's really odd. I, I can't really follow her train of thought. Her train of thought to it that there it's, it's on a bullet train um but yeah that's that's what's been going on with those guys um 
And then Ladybug is talking to the operator again. This is where we learn about the Hornet, another assassin who's apparently also on this train. And the reason we haven't seen her is because she was going around in this in this uh, what's it called like this cost yeah this costume from as like a mascot from Japan. I think it's a real mascot from Japan, but I don't actually know. Uh, but it looks like a mascot from Japan that could be real, and they do use that kind of stuff. So I believe it, but it doesn't matter if it's real or not. It's a mascot, and she's using that, and she she poisoned the, the, the guy because she uses poison, hence the hornet, because she stabs and pokes people with syringes and makes them bleed out of the eye. So she was responsible for, for the death of the sun and also the killing Heimers of the wedding. Um, yeah. We learned it a little bit later, but I already said it. So there you go. There you go. Uh, he's like still hiding on this toilet, and there's like this scene where some Japanese lady just knocks on the door, like, oh, go, toilet. And he's like, fuck off, lady, I'm pooping or something. It happens twice, and then a third knock is like, fuck, they're supposed to be polite here. What is going on? But when he opens the door, he sees that Tangerine found him because he was tracking his phone <laughs> with like a find your phone app. And Ladybug looks at this like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then they have a fight. <laughs> and yeah, they have like a fight. They do all kinds of stuff. Uh, and then it's basically the scene from the trailer where they just stand there and this little service lady comes around. It's like, oh, you want some drinks and stuff? Um, and and Tendry's like, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, mate. And he's like, oh, you have anything sparkling? Like some water or something? And then he gets some water. And he's like, ah, oh, I used up all my... I used my money to pay up this guy to wear my hat. <laughs> Can you get that for me? And then Tangerine pays the lady for Ladybug, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, they fight some more. And at some point, so this, this is the this is the point where the train should have stopped, like right there, because at some point he's uh, he's starting to to strangle Ladybug, and he <clears throat> Ladybug just presses an emergency button. That flings open the door at the at, uh, the door of the train just flies off and they hang off of the train, and for some reason that that emergency button does not stop the train. It just opens the door, uh, and even if we accept that, they stop at multiple places, and nobody gives a shit about that open door. Like, there's just a door missing, and they're just like, yeah, just get in and out, it's fine, no problem. Um, and it's not, it's it's a door from one of the, the driver, like the like the driver cabinets. So it's one of the, the important doors as well. So there should be something going off in, in, on the other side of the train, where the guy is, you know, driving the train, conducting the train, if you will. Um, so yeah, they get, like, sucked out. Uh, they hang on to some something, and they uh, they just kind of climb back in, and Tangerine is about to stab him with, I think, chopsticks into his eyes. <clears throat> but then his phone rings, and they're just like, "You want to you you want to get that? It might be important." And he's realizing, "Oh shit, it's probably the fucking contractor again." Uh, and it's like, I don't believe you. I think you're being shitty with me. You gotta go out, and I want to see the briefcase this time. Um, and it's like, oh shit, we're fucked. Like, if we don't show them, it's gonna be shit. And Ladybug's like, hey, do they know how Lemon looks like? And they don't. So they both go out uh, and just grab a random briefcase to fool the guys. But for some reason, Ladybug does like a thing where he wants to, I don't know roll around a combination and for some reason he, he immediately hits the combination of the of this random briefcase and it goes open and just all this all these clothes just fly out revealing that it's just a random briefcase and they just fuck fuck them over so they get annoyed and it's like oh god and they just run quickly back into the train and well, they basically expect it's GG now for them because the White Death is going to come after them for sure. 
uh, Neve Tendry is like, why the fuck would you do that? It's like, I don't know, I wanted to make it more believable. I mean, it kind of worked at the beginning. And it's like, yeah. You, you fool. You, you did a foolish thing. You should be ashamed of yourself. Um, I just realized there's not, not super much to, I don't know, to latch onto to talk about. I'm just going through this movie again. It's like, there's just a lot of things happening, but not a lot of things to talk about, I guess. Because uh, we, we move so fast. There's so many things happening. Uh... I think you could like do a deep dive in this movie, but I'm not <clears throat> that crazy about it that I I don't know would do a video about it or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just very entertaining and a lot of things happen. I guess uh, I don't even know how to say it properly. It's just I don't know. I thought there would be more to latch onto while I was going through it, but I guess not. But maybe there there will be more. Um, the imagine refills do 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 do. But yeah, while well, the, well, they, they go further ahead, Lemon comes across the prince and the father. And they have like a little back and forth. Uh, if they've seen Ladybug slash the twat with the glasses, I think he calls him. Uh, and when he's about to leave, he realizes, wait, you would assume it would be a suitcase being like an overnight thing. Uh, but you said briefcase, never mentioned a briefcase. And then he t starts to take, take aim at them. Tangerine and Ladybug wonder what they will do, and they say, just leave the train here, like, give us this, uh, this next station. Uh, but Tangerine won't let him go, because he will want to use him as a, as a fallback. It's like, you fucked everything up, you're the reason everyone is dead and stuff. Uh, and then Ladybug just talks shit to him, just convoluted bullshit, it's like, oh, there's like a thing between us, and this and that, and then just kicks Tangerine out, off of the train when the door closes. Uh, in the meantime, Lemon tries to figure out which of the, which one of the two is the bad person. Because common sense tells me that you're adult, that the father is it's like a kidnapper and stuff because the prince is like pretending to be the scared child right now. He's like, I, something tells me you're not quite right either. Um, also while he's all doing this, he's, he's taking sips. Of, of the spiked Fiji water he has. Um, but yeah, at the end, he, he does like this weird thing. It's like, oh, I, either someone tells me who's the bad guy or point to him or you both die or something or whatever. But she ends up pointing at him. The other one doesn't do anything because he's just thinking about his son. It's like, if she doesn't survive, my son is going to end up dead. So he's doing the chat move and is not doing anything. So he gets shot in the... I think like in the in the ribs or something. Um, so he's down for the count. Uh, Tangerine jumped on the bullet train before it could leave and punches his way through the back end window of the train. Uh, he has like thick rings and stuff on his fingers, so he just kind of punches like like a motherfucker while hanging on to the train. Punches through the window. Uh, yeah. He's back in now. <laughs> uh, I was like, okay. You somehow hold up to the, hold on to this train and punch your way through the window. I don't know why they just didn't make him jump into, you know, the open door that they yeeted off earlier. Uh, I think. Oh no, wait. This that, that door is on the wrong side. I think that one. That one was the, what was it? I actually would need to check back. I'm not sure. I don't know which way they get onto the tra onto the the stations, but maybe they could have just done it that way. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, that he's back in now, so that didn't work out. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> Lemon throws the father into some random toilet room, some bathroom, uh, and she's about to. I don't know, lock the door with some stuff. And this is where Lemon sees that she's been hiding a gun. But she's like, oh, he was trying to shoot me with the things and stuff. And he just takes the gun. It's like, why did you use that then? And he's like, oh, you, you, you're just fucked in the head. Like, you, you're, man, you're good. Because he compliments her. It's like, well, and you, man, is that even a lip quiver? Is that a tear? Man, you're, oh, you fucked. And he's like, you're a diesel. Got to kill ya. But before he can kill her, 
the Fiji water takes effect and he just falls over. She takes the gun and shoots him in the chest. Hmm. Wonder if that's going to be important that she shot him in the chest. It is because he put back on the vest. So he's he's uh, he's only unconscious for now. He he's going to be back later. Uh, yeah. Yeah. As I said, a lot of a lot of luck stuff. I mean, at least they set this one kind of up where Tangerine told him to that he's stupid for not wearing that vest. Uh. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, he's, he gets hit in the same bathroom that the father is, and she locks the door and goes somewhere else. Uh, Ladybug finds the father's phone, because it's just kind of ringing or vibrating on the, on the floor, and it's like, oh, hey, uh, the train is in X position right now, I don't know who you're trying to reach, but you must have lost the phone here. And for some reason, he also tells him that the Find Your Phone app is very accurate. And then he hangs up. I, I, I don't, it's really weird. I didn't really understand. I don't know if that's the reason that, they, that he knows where the train is going to be when he gets on. But I don't know. It was kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, Ladybug goes back to the bar where the wolf is still dead. <clears throat> He checks out the wolf more and finds a little little letter where he finds a picture of of the hornet, and this is where she gets properly introduced. As I said she's the <clears throat> she's the one the wolf was after, uh, and now she's here and they have to well they have a fight, so they have a, a a fighty fight. She tries to poison him during the fight, tells him that he that he was ordered to kill the son. That she was ordered to kill the son by the the own father. And he's like, man, that's some dark shit. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, they have like a back and forth and stuff. Uh, he blocks the the needle, but she ends up poking his skin, and she says, "Oh, there's like one one whatever is on that needle is enough to kill you." And <laughs> he is like in his in his hand and just takes it out and just puts it into her into her shoulder and puts in the rest of the poison. So now they're both poisoned, and they just kind of look at each other. It's like, mm, what? Mm. Like they were waiting for something, and then Lady, but Ladybug is waiting for her to get the antidote out, and she's about to grab it, but he grabs it from her and puts it into his body and just gives himself the anti venom. <laughs> and she's like, "Why did you? Why?" It's like, "Oh no!" It's like you have another one, right? He's like, I don't have another one, bitch. <laughs> and he just goes like, why do you only have one? What the fuck? You gotta be better prepared. And then this scenario says, oh, I'm sure I apologize. I've been mans. I didn't mean to mansplain you. <laughs> Which is probably the first mansplaining joke that I laughed at. Uh, and she just starts getting poisoned. She bleeds from the eyes and she dies this horrible death. <laughs> and he just asks... Do you need anything? Do you want some peanuts? A blanket? Should I should I hold your hair? And she's crawling on the floor, bleeding from the eyes, and just trying to, I don't know, get away or something, and just slowly dying. <laughs> it's like, do you need a blanket or something? I don't know. <laughs> but she just dies, and he, uh, uh, yeah. He just dies, and then we cut back to Tangerine. He finds the body of, of Lemon in the bathroom, thinking he's dead. I don't know why he doesn't check the pulse or anything, but he just assumes he's fucking dead, even though there's no, no blood anywhere on him. I think so. Yeah, he's like grieving and stuff, and he's pissed what has been happening. So, <clears throat> yeah, he's just going off. He even puts like his this, this little, uh, this little. Uh, it's like a chain thing around his uh, uh, around his throat. Uh, hang on, is it a chain or is it like an actual necklace? I think it's a necklace. I think it has like a little dangly bit on on the bottom. I don't remember. It's not so important, but it's like something important to him, I think. And he puts it around uh, lemons, lemon, lemons face 
area. Uh, I don't know why I said face area. It's so dumb. Um, the actor did a good job in the scene. Oh yeah, they the they, he's, he's been doing very good. For sure. Um, so yeah, he he fucks off. Lady, now we see that Ladybug has prepped up Hornet too, and they just <laughs> kind of have like wolf Hornet just sitting in front of each other, like both sleeping and looking looking like they're drunk. Uh, and yeah, he's like Ladybug is like hyperventilating, and the uh, the, <laughs> the 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 uh, uh, the operator goes like, "Are you lying on the floor in a fetal position?" He's like, I'm not lying on the floor. He's just kind of in, in, in that position, in his fetal position on on a bench, and he's just kind of breathing through through like a uh, like a paper bag and stuff. <laughs> and he's like, okay, you gotta breathe, you gotta chill out. He's like, okay, yeah, yeah. He just does like breathing exercises. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Tangerine is just walking through, just ready to fuck shit up. And he's like, another call of the White Death. And Wes like, you lied to me. And what are you doing? Do you know who I am and all that stuff. And Tangerine basically tells her, how about you stop being a prick and get to yourself? You're such a hot shot. And then Wes says, I will wait you at Kyoto Station. And Tangerine says, oh, how wonderful. I can't fucking wait. <laughs> Uh, he's like, I want to look you in the eyes when I kill you and your brother. And this is like, oh, good. My brother is already dead. Thank you very much. Uh, and then Dendry Will says, oh, good. You just want to kill everyone with rush hour rapidly approaching. Like we're like now going into daylights again, slowly. Uh, and he's like, no, it's all good. I bought all the seats until the end of the line. So there won't be anyone in the train anymore. So basically, for some reason, the train is now empty. And he bought all the tickets now. So no one is going to get on to the train. What about the people that are already on the train that want to go all the way to Kyoto? I guess that just doesn't happen. Un unless he bought all the tickets before this all happened. It's really weird because... I'm pretty sure the bullet trains in, in Japan are always pretty pretty well used. And I, I assume a lot of people want to go to Kyoto. Uh, but the train is just completely empty now for some reason. <clears throat> so we, 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 we have to... We, they tell us there's only our team there now and soon the White Death. Uh, so he's like, no, I bought all the tickets. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It it's, it raises all kinds of questions. A <laughs> public holiday. Uh -huh. Nah, but he says this rush hour is approaching. So yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. Uh, there's t definitely no. Uh, there's definitely people still on that train, except these ones. But yeah, I don't know. It's just a really weird thing to do. Uh, he could have done the same thing without anyone having to not be... I don't know. It's... Uh, didn't like that. They shouldn't have done that that way. It's it's really odd. Anyway. Um, right, so then he stumbles across Prince, who's just been stirring shit this whole time. He's like, oh, please help me. I'm this normal little girl. I'm so scared. And uh, he's this one guy was trying to take me hostage because it says small lady, small pretty lady is going to be a good hostage. <laughs> I think, I think Tedrin says, I mean, besides that, yeah, that's probably, that's true. You would be a good hostage, but just go whatever you want. I don't care. It's whatever. Uh... Even if he had bought the seeds, isn't there still innocent staff working on the train? Uh, yeah, we still have someone driving the train. So, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really weird. If if the reason is he doesn't want any any people seeing what is happening, maybe don't use a public train people can use. It's I it's really weird. I don't think it, it doesn't check out. <clears throat> mm. 
Uh, so yeah, he's basically like, yeah, just fuck off, whatever you do, I don't care, I'm just gonna go and fuck shit up now. But then, he t before he is about to leave, he sees that she has a sticker on her back, and the sticker has diesel on it. And he's like, oh, you're, Lemon put that on there, you, you're the little shit stirrer this whole time, you're the one who fucked this whole thing up, and he's about to kill her. But of course she is very lucky because Ladybug just gets here and she immediately goes like help me this guy's trying to do the um yeah it's uh, he just arrives here so that doesn't happen so they get a look at the scuffle she pretends to be innocent child again and they have like a this really short scuffle and Tangerine gets killed by a gunshot going off accidentally which just goes through his throat and he's just bleeding everywhere. There's a lot of blood in that scene. Uh, so yeah, we got another accidental kill by Ladybug, which he didn't mean to do. Uh, and the prince has been spared once again because she's really lucky. Whoa. As I said, uh, writing-wise, not, not the best. As, this is like very, very dependent on on luck and people contrivances is what I was looking for. So it's like, oh, you just got here. That's lucky. But yeah. Um, we get to the next station. We see that the father's father now arrives on the train. And as, as I said earlier, he's like this other influential person. And he's also a trained fighter and everything. Um, and obviously Ladybug wants to leave the train immediately. It's like, I'm just going to fuck off now. Uh, but he still thinks that Prince is this little innocent girl who's just trapped here. And she pretends like her bag is stuck. He's like, oh, no, I need to get my bag. He's like, fuck the bag. Get out of here. You just want to fucking die. He's like, oh, no, please don't leave me alone. Uh, and he's like, oh, fuck, I can't leave this random innocent girl here when the white death is waiting at the end. So he's already off the train, but he goes back on because he's been fooled. That fool has been fooled. Um, so yeah, they just chill there for now, uh, and then the father gets to them, and he just sits next to them, and they were looks and was like, can you just take basically like any other seat, like it's all empty, you're being a fucking creep right now, and then, hey guys, remember that snake? That snake arrives now, and he gets bit by the snake, <laughs> Ladybug gets bit by the snake, he's like, oh shit, fuck, ah! And just wraps his, uh, I think, his, a jacket around and is trying to hold it. And he goes to the toilet and just shoves it into the toilet. Uh, thing is, because he already has the anti-venom from the lady earlier, it doesn't matter that it's this poisonous snake because he already has the antibodies, I guess. He even says, like, I already had the anti-venom, so I'm fine, I think. Uh, and apparently he is fine because nothing happens to him. So... The snake is not a danger because of the because of the poison. It's a danger because well, it's not a danger at all, really. It's just an annoyance because now we need to get them separated because the father recognized the voice of the child from the phone. So snakes are venomous, poisonous. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Now they just say it. I think I heard that before. That there's like this uh, uh, the separation. Uh, I honestly forgot about forget about that because I don't use venomous that that often. But yeah, that's 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 true. You're right. It's a venomous one. You're right. <clears throat> it's like one of those separations I always forget about because I don't use it that often. Um, so yeah, now the father can confront the prince as she rec as he recognizes her voice. Uh, so he's like, "Oh, you're bad and stuff," and then she fucks off to somewhere else in the train, and she's she's out for now. Uh, that ladybug comes back and the guy is, just talks about fate and stuff. And it's like, fate? Pff, this is bad luck for me. Venom is injected, poison is ingested. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then then uh, the father is father. is like, yeah, boy, you want to you wanna, uh, you wanna hear a little story? And ladybug is like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. He's like, really? It's like, it's, it's really short story. It's like, no, it's fine. I'm I'm just gonna sit here. And I was like, it's a really good story for you. Maybe it's like, no, I'm cool. I'm I'm cool. 
and just tells the story anyways. <laughs> and Ladybug is just rolling his eyes. He's like, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't <laughs> I meant to mention when, you, when Ladybug was fighting the Hornet, a similar thing happens. She goes like, do you know what happens when I put this poison into you? And he's like, yeah, I know. And she starts explaining it. He's like, I said I know. And just yeets her across the room. <laughs> Uh, that was kind of funny. Um, so he basically just tells him his backstory. He's like, oh, I'm a survivor of this white death takeover. He's been doing his, uh, I've been doing my own thing. He killed my, my, uh, my, 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 uh, <laughs> easy for me to say. Uh, he killed my, my wife and everything, but the, uh, my son is still alive and now I want to get my revenge and I have to revenge my family and my whole clan because I was never able to do and fate has us all brought here. And then he also tells uh, Ladybug that oh, the Ladybug's thoughts are supposed to be the seven sorrows. And then Ladybug just says like quietly, I don't want to be this. I don't want to. I don't want to have the seven sorrows. <laughs> It was like, ah, oh, fate, everything you do, every every choice you made, fate led you here. And just Ladybug just looks and says like, oh, that's a shit deal. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It kind of works. I, I kind of like that. It was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, they go, go around. Uh, and for some reason, the father says, oh, my son isn't dead. He's fine. It's like, oh, how do you know? It's like, I don't know. I just know. I think was the reasoning. Uh, so they go find them in the, uh, <clears throat> but Ladybugs have different numbers of spots. I know, I, I, I didn't even question everyone. It's like, does Ladybug have seven it's more or less different? Uh, you're all insane. Um, so they find that Lemon and the father aren't dead. Uh, so the father was just injured by the gunshot, but he wasn't killed. So he's kind of fine-ish. And as I already said, Lemon took the advice of Tangerine and put the vest on. And that saved his life. Um, and then obviously Lemon f finds out that Tangerine is now dead and gives him his goodbyes. Um, so, so we basically have this little, we have this thing. We're on our way to Kyoto where the White Death and his men are awaiting. Our team now consists of the father, the father's father, Lemon, and Ladybug. And they have like this little <clears throat> little scuffle between between them. Not the father, but the father, Lemon, and and uh, Ladybug. Because Lemon shot the father, and Ladybug killed Tangerine by accident. So they go like, you suck, no, you suck. And then the father's like, stop it, we either... All yell at each other, or we die to get to we die to get fight together, or die together or alone, or something. He says something like that. I don't know. It's basically like they have a scuffle for two minutes, and then if I was like, get your shit together, we gotta all die if we don't work together. That's that's the gist of it. And they kind of prepare some stuff. Uh, the father prepares some thing to stab people with. I think it's like he builds like a little spear. Uh, so yeah, they all take take a station. So Ladybug goes out to the White Death when they arrive to get some time. Lemon goes on to uh, go to the driver station to get the get the train running. Uh, I think about it. I don't remember ever seeing like a train conductor actually driving the train. I remember if they just yeeted someone out. I think the thing was just empty for some reason. I will need to check back on that. I'm not sure, but I don't remember like someone actually driving the train. They just go in there and just take over the, the helm, I guess. Uh, so yeah, uh, we're basically at the end game now. Uh, I think this is still like half an hour of things happening, but it's basically all action uh, stuff happening and some talking in between. So obviously I go through the talking stuff, but most of it is just action now. Because uh, Ladybug goes out, makes some time. The suitcase is obviously still rigged. Uh, he just talks to them. 
And this is where the uh, yeah the White Death tells them the story from his perspective because he he has been planning this whole shenanigans. He 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 made it somehow work that all of them are here now because they're all somehow connected to to the death of his wife or something uh, that got crashed into. Uh, so. All of them had something to do with any anything that did something bad for him, I think was the idea. Uh, so he kind of made it work that everyone was here. He was hoping that they all basically kill each other. And yeah, that's, that's his plan. I will need to watch the whole scene back again and take a lot of time to actually separate all these things. But I'm going to be completely honest here. I did not care that much <laughs> at that point. I just wanted to see the action scene. Uh, but the, 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 the overall gist is they all had something to do with something bad that happened to him. And he hired them so they all kill each other. And he just picks up the scraps at the end and gets rid of the last couple of people that are still around. Um... But yeah, they, they, they check the brief, the suitcase. Obviously, that's still rigged from Prince. It explodes. That creates a distraction they didn't plan for. Uh, I think they get yeeted into the train from the explosion. And some of the men go back in. Lemon starts the train and they're just riding along. It gets faster and faster. Lemon realizes, I actually have no idea how to stop this train again. So they kind of just do their fighting stuff. White Death and... The father just have their little scuffle between themselves. They have like both katanas and they they fight each other and stuff. Um, it's like there's not a lot to. It's just I mean there's a lot of happening, but it's all just action stuff. Like it's this is where everything just goes over the top action. Like you get to the last station, they fucking go through another bullet train at some point. Like, if you know, like, these bullet trains, they're, like, kind of curved on the front. So it makes almost, like, the this 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 ramp in the in, in the front. And for some reason, it works that way. In, in the movie, it works the way that they, they tail end one of the... Uh, another bullet train and just kind of throw the wagons on the sides and they just go through it and it's all good. Uh... So yeah, we were just off. The, as someone already said, off the rails. It's off the rails. Um, and there's like all these people. They fight them. We have a couple of instances here where they go towards the people instead of using their guns like a normal person. So unfortunately, we're not we're not safe from that one here either. Um, uh, what else happened? There's like so many action stuff happening here. And, like, why death and the father's father have, like, the... <clears throat> still, so, so, oh, I get my revenge and fight and these and this and that. Uh, Lem and Ladybug are in the front trying to figure out to stop the car. But then the guys come in and they shoot the... They shoot the console so they can't do shit anymore. Ladybug even... Uh, grabs the manual of the things like hey lamb is cool i got the thing here but then it just kind of scatters around because there's so much wind in the open with the open window and everything now <clears throat> that got shot everything just goes flying then he finds like a thing on the ground that says emergency stop so he tries to short that one but when he fight while he's doing that lemon is just fighting off all these guys and there's one guy left and he just tacks tackles him out of the train and they just fall down the bridge into the water. So, obviously, he didn't die. Um, and he finally shorts it, but it's too late. They go through a wall, and everyone just gets catapulted through the fucking train. Like, Ladybug goes all the way from the front through multiple wagons back, and you're like, oh, they're all dead, right? Because they crashed hard. But no, Ladybug survives because he crashes into the mascot costume. And that cushions his impact, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Somehow they all survive, which is impossible, obviously. So 
GG on that. Uh, and like this fucking thing just crashes into a into an area where people live and crashes into like buildings and stuff. A lot of people died there. Like holy fuck. Um, what a what a what an assassination go wrong. Uh, not assassination. What a what a job gone gone tits up, eh? Um. Uh. So yeah. Obviously, White Death is still there. He he's pretty injured from the fight with the father's father. And he's like, ah, oh, everyone is almost dead. And it's like, ah, oh, but you you're the one who finally found you. I was here to look into kill you, Carver. And Leiba looks and is like, what? I'm here to kill you, Carver. Like you, you crashed into my into my wife's uh, car that I was supposed to drive in, but I didn't take it this time. So I should have died in her place. How dare you? <laughs> and then he's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not Carver. That I, I'm Carver is the guy I'm filling in for. He's not around. I, I have nothing to do with your wife. I don't even know who your wife is. I, I'm sorry. Which is so fucking dumb. But I don't know. For some reason, it got me. It was kind of funny. Like he's like the he's the guy he wanted to kill the most, or thought he was the he killed him, killed the most. It's like no, I'm actually filling in for the guy you meant to kill. Sorry. Uh, it's like oh, fuck this. I'm gonna kill you anyways. But he uses the gun that Prince prepared. So he shoots the gun, but his face gets exploded. GG for him. Like, you see his face go like... Pfft. So, yeah, there you go. He He's dead now. Our, our little little team is about to leave. But Prince is still around. She has, like, these... This, this big rifle SMG thing going on. Um, he's like, ah, oh, I'm still alive because I'm so lucky. Yeah! And he's about to kill them all. And they just see a truck coming from the right crashing into her, running her over, and it's Lemon, who, who found a truck full of tangerines after he crashed into, into the water. I don't, even, I don't even think it remotely checks out with time and knowing where they crashed and everything. It's just really funny that she gets run over so horrifically. Uh, it, it doesn't doesn't check out at all i'm pretty sure but yeah she's dead now uh the quote-unquote good guys win because no 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 them is a really good guys there's there's a lot there was a lot of collateral damage uh but yeah i don't think the we, we we're not really going for like a like a hero here we're just going for the protagonist but yeah uh she's dead now and then there's like train wrecks everywhere and like the police arrives and they don't give a shit about Ladybug being here because the operator comes comes around uh, to, with like a really nice, uh, a really nice, uh, really nice car. It's like, oh shit, nice car, good shit. It's like, oh, you here? You here because you were afraid I die? Oh, that's that's sweet. It's like I'm not. I'm just gonna hear. So they're kind of bantering around. It's kind of oh, uh, the the uh, the handler is, is has been played by by Sandra Bullock this this whole time. So we show so she gets a little little cameo here as well, and it's like, ah, oh, so you know, you're gonna go away with this car, and then something falls over and destroys the car get it because he's always he always has bad luck and then they just walk off into the sunset and, and police and fire fighters are here to check the cars and stuff and that's the movie yeah it's a fun movie but it's very stupid <laughs> It's a very, very silly movie, but I think it's very entertaining. Uh, the whole contrivance thing gets really annoying at some point. Uh, but fortunately, it's it's entertaining enough to keep me what kept me watching. And not uh, lose me completely at some point. 
Uh, because the movie knows it's silly. That I think that's what it's going for. It tells you very quickly. It's like, oh yeah, I'm this silly movie. I'm this very silly movie. We're just doing the thing so we can get to this, to the funny bits and the action scenes. Almost like what I was hoping Lo Thor Love and Thunder to be. It's like, oh, the story is going to be really stupid, but it's going to be have some, some fun characters and funny bits in it. But that didn't happen, obviously. But I, I got it here, and I was very entertained. And it's a, it's a fun movie to watch in the cinema, for sure. Just grab some popcorn, grab some, some, some drink, and just just... Let fun commence, because that's what this movie was for me. It was really fun. Uh, yeah. Fun stuff. Especially, yeah, especially, it just knows what it is. It knows what it's trying to do. We want to do the silly action movie uh, with fun and witty characters that do, like, crazy stuff. And, yeah, I think it works pretty well. I, I enjoyed it for what it's worth. Uh, writing wise, it's like <laughs> we just we use a lot of contrivances uh, to get to different parts of things happening and people talking to each other. Uh, I know. I think if you would look way deeper into this, because there's a lot of dialogue in here where they explain all the happenings that have been going on and how they're all connected <clears throat> but to be honest i wasn't super interested in it uh so i didn't pay that much attention and even when i checked back to do notes i was like i don't really i don't really get it i don't think this checks out uh so yeah i think if you look deeper into it it's probably probably not it might be better or it might be worse uh but yeah, as I said, for entertaining value, it was it was pretty pretty fun. Um, yeah, give give it a look, sees if you want to just have a, a little fun schlizmy movie to watch. For sure, um, yeah. They tried to wave away a lot of contrivance by saying the characters are just lucky or unlucky. Yeah, which is which means nothing. It just does the same thing. <clears throat> we we legit would have to uh, have to set up some some magic stuff or um, I don't know superhuman thing that they actually have like this power that they're unlucky and lucky. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it's just a way of saying they're lucky, so shit's gonna happen. Please don't think about it. Which you probably don't want to do, but yeah, it's a. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, but I was I was expecting just an entertaining schlism schlism fest, and that's what I got. Um, but yeah, if if you look deeper into it, it's probably gonna be falling apart pretty heavily, especially with all the contrivances. It's like, oh, you just got here. Oh, you're about to die, but this guy is gonna be here. So yeah, it's uh I hate when they do that, but as I said, at least it's entertaining and made me some some laughs. Made me some laughs. Made me laugh. There you go. Um, uh, the gun had the most ludicrous number of accessories too. Looked like something out of Call of Duty Vanguard. Yeah, she had like those dangly bits on it as well. It was weird. Um, have you ever seen or heard Smoking Aces? It is a similar concept with the multiple assassin thing. I think I've seen Smoking Aces, or at least started to watch it. I'm aware of it for sure. Uh, I don't remember anything about it. Uh, I at least meant to watch it at some point. Uh, but that's a movie I'm probably going to check out again, or for the first time, if I ever remember what I, what the thing is. Uh, if you want a cool action story, check out Queen's Ride. Queen's Rich or Queen's Rights album of Operation Mind Crime. Really concept, al concept album following a high school dropout turned political assassin for heroin. Okay. All right, movie was pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's the train of the bullets. Uh, 
What, what time is it? Well, now I, I have another hour to, to, to spare before I'm gonna go watch Prey with the massives. Wait, you guys got any 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 questions? Let me let me check. I think there was a super chat earlier. Let me let me grab that real quick. Real quick, Rooney. Real Quickenheimers. Uh, where is my studio of the YouTube's? There it is. Uh, Superheimers. Do do do. Uh, let's see. Hey, Metal, hello. Haven't seen this movie. This and Nobody. Nobody is another really fun one. I really enjoyed Nobody. Had some of the... Some of my... Uh, one of my favorite uh, fighting scenes from recent media, for sure. That bus fight, that is a that is a beefy boy fight. That is a beefy, beefy schleem. For sure. Uh... Yeah, I, I would recommend Nobody. Nobody was fun. That was fun stuff. Uh, well, but yeah, I'll be checking out Prey here in a in an hour ish. I hope nobody's gonna be late because it's already gonna be late when we start that movie. Um, but yeah, not a four. I wanted actually a one of the shorter forges this time. Uh, but yeah, they don't all gonna be longish. Don't need to be a long man every time. Uh, but yeah, well there you go. That's all the all the chats of the supers. Uh, do, 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 do. You guys get any other questionados? If you just shoot them right now, otherwise I'm out of here. I'll right, give you guys a minute if you can think of anything. Uh, I have to watch Prey. I don't wanna. <laughs> no, I'm gonna be covering that on on the Forge next week. It's gonna be great. Question mark. Great. Well, it doesn't look like anyone has any questions. Wow, you guys are so lame. No, I'm just just playing. Uh, no. Okay. Well, then, if that's that. I'll, I'm out of here for today. Gonna go watch that incredible Prey movie, as I already said three times now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the super chance. And I'll, I'll see you all in the next one then. Uh, yeah, that's it. Goodbye.